and I would highly recommend Feldenkrais work. You've got four different Feldenkrais exercises in your manual. Wow. This is called Spine Like a Chain. And it is a way of enhancing movement in the system without stretching anything, always moving painlessly. I spent four days with Feldenkrais himself in 1980, being 400 other people, but I was right up near the front. And <laughs> Excellent stuff. I, I love that one, yeah. Well, hey, I couldn't get a private signal. Everybody else take them. I was transformed. I was totally transformed by what this guy was able to demonstrate over and over again. And he had no neuroscience to support him to speak of. It's, he died in 84, for heaven's sakes. Still, the, uh, the, uh, the suggestions he made, uh, Butler put up a whole list of things that you should consider when you're treating somebody with movement, and they felt like Christ could have written that in 1980, for heaven's sakes. And Butler's got this wealth of information behind him. I'm going to rest this arm here. Now, leaving your knees here, roll back toward your left but leave your knees there. She can go to a certain extent, she can roll to the left, no strain, no stretch, you go where you can, and you can see what kind of angulation she's come up with here, right? When you've gone as far as you can without pain and without straining, uh-uh, stay there with your shoulders. And now bring your knees to the top together. To the top towards the ceiling? Yeah. And I want you to do a lot more thoughtfully next time you do it. Don't flip yourself, or this is not Richard Simmons, this is Feldenkrais. Now, drop your knees to the right. And leave your shoulders there until you need them. Now bring the shoulders through. And repeat. Shoulders low. All the way to the back. And then right. And uh, more thoughtfully than that. I want the patient, I'll always give them this cue. Yeah, you can come through now. Learn this like you're learning something on a keyboard. Don't do it harder and faster. Do it thoughtfully. Recruit as you can. Do not scare your brain. Imagine how much rotation is occurring before she moves the opposite part. You know, the front part. Legs up the shoulders. Yeah, I'd leave that. Far enough. You could have a fellow grass would add all kinds of things to this. Breathe in on the way over. Is this something that you do on both sides? Or you of course you could. This is not a card. And then back. I arbitrarily chose this because she happened to be lying there and sidelines and people like One more time with the shoulders. Now, Feldenkrais would say, no less than 14 repetitions of any motion. I don't know where to head and get this motion. He wanted 14 repetitions of the motions, and he didn't want you to count. Kabbalah. <laughs> Kabbalah. <laughs> there, that's a good, that's a best answer, I think. But he'd want you to feel this. He'd want you to measure before and after what kind of rotational range you had or whatever range. You know? And as we measured with Beth initially, how much rotation of the shoulder she got, it hasn't dramatically changed. But she could perhaps feel she's getting a little more rotation with the shoulders. Go back again. You going back further before you need your knees? Yeah. I can tell you. You can see it from there and you can see it from there. She's almost completely flipped back. And if she doesn't flipped. feel that, that's just part of the, the somato sensory amnesia that Thomas Handel would talk about. We're getting more rotation. If she doesn't feel it, we need to come up with a way for her to measure that. If she cannot feel it or do it more and more so she begins to feel the subtlety of this. We're following Weber Fechner. Weber Fechner, the threshold of sensitivity to sensory excitation is a certain fraction of the overall excitation already present. A physiologic law, Fechner died in 1853, so it's been around for a long time, which means if I'm holding 10 pounds in my hand and you had a pound, I'm probably going to feel that readily. But if I'm holding 50 pounds and you had a pound, I'm probably not going to feel it. Because the threshold of sensitivity to sensory excitation is a certain fraction. One is a much larger fraction of 10 than it is of 50 of the overall excitation already present. So you want people to move thoughtfully and gently, noticing everything, not pouring all kinds of sensory excitation into the system. Then they can begin to notice subtle changes. And that goes with your handling as well. Barbara Fechner. Very, very useful and perfectly true physiologic law, as opposed to Arn Schultz, which is what we're talking about. Not anymore. It's obscure, right? That's fine like a chain. 